guys, so uh, today I thought I'd talk about the Peach Slices uh, Oil Control Skincare line, which I just recent re recently released. Uh, really quick, I purchase these products with my own money. I'll never waste time with sponsored ads or videos. So if that's something you're into, like, subscribe, share the video, check out the links below, or check out my Patreon community. So, I love Peach Slices, Peach and Lily. They've got some great stuff, and this line is wonderful. The main standouts of this line is the fact that it's all vegan, uh, cruelty-free, affordable, and mostly fragrance-free or unscented. And uh, I've got some clear favorites from this line and a clear one I didn't like so much. So, let me start out with the moisturizer. Here we go. And I'm using this today underneath my sunscreen. So this is the Oil Control Mattifying Moisturizer. Retails for $17. I'm going to put it on my uh, left hand. Here we go. And it's meant to be a moisturizer that helps with oil production in your skin. And it has some ingredients that can help with that. It is a nice light moisturizer. And it really... Uh, feels nice on your skin, feels hydrating. The reviews of this one so far aren't the best of this line. I would say that the moisturizer probably has the lowest reviews of this line. It's one of the products I like more from this line, but it feels really nice on your skin and hydrating. It sets to a natural finish. The one thing I will say is it's not super mattifying. The serum in this line is a little bit more mattifying in my opinion. Uh, but so the pros of this one are it contains several forms of hyaluronic acid as well as green tea which is a great antioxidant skin soothing ingredient aloe zinc pca which you will see in a lot of acne products zinc pca is great for helping uh, with oil production and things like that and it also has several ceramides in here and it's also fragrance free uh, for the cons to this one i kind of mentioned it <clears throat> it's not super mattifying but once it sets on your skin, it sets to a natural finish. So it's not shiny or greasy looking. But if you get oily throughout the day, it's not going to help a whole ton with that. But to be 100% honest, I have yet to find a moisturizer that really can do that and still hydrate the skin at the same time. I just, I haven't seen it. Unless it has a lot of silicone or dimethicone in it to make it kind of a really matte finish. But then you run into issues of pilling and things like that. So... Uh, feels very hydrating. I like the finish on it. Uh, for acne prone skin, this does contain avocado oil. Avocado oil is an interesting ingredient because a lot of uh, researchers and uh, studies uh, have shown that avocado may help prevent breakouts, but it also is pretty high on the combigenic scale coming out of three, where I think a four is the highest. So um, I guess it just it depends on the individual. You just never know. Certain ingredients, great for one person. I will always hear comments when I list the acne junk ingredients in a product. Well, I use squalane every day and I don't get breakouts and I break out to everything. Well, it just depends on the person. You don't know unless you try it. So for some people, squalane might be just awful. For me, if I use pure squalane oil, I know I'm going to be upset that I did it the next day. And then for others, use it without any problem. So you just never know. Everything's super individual. So uh, this is $17.00. Overall, very nice product, nice ingredients, not terribly mattifying, but it's a nice moisturizer overall, and it's really affordable. Okay, next up, we've got the Boil Bal Control Balancing Mist, which retails for $20. Uh, I love this mist. So out of this skincare line, this is my favorite product. It, the mist is super fine, and I'm always on the search for a mist that is just fine. You know what I mean? Like... There's some mist that's like, woo, it's like squirting, being squirted with a super soaker. And there's some that's just like, like clouds around you almost. I, I don't know how else to describe it, but let me. It feels so nice. Anyway, I just love it. I love this mist. I love it. There's nothing really bad I can say about it. So, retails for $20. It's a very fine mist. Uh, it contains green tea, lactobacillus, aloe. Again, we've got that zinc PCA, tea tree extract, uh, and then a couple different pine extracts, pine needle, pine bark extracts, and pine. Different pines can really be great for protecting your skin. Uh, pycnogenol is one of them. It's not the pine they use in this one, but pycnogenol is a really famous, probably the most fam famous pine ingredient that's really known for protecting your skin 
Um, so in terms of the cons for this one, I really can't think of anything. I tried to think of something, but I love it. It's amazing. It's a wonderful mist. It's got good ingredients in there, and it's really affordable. So, so nice. I have it twice. Okay. Next up, let's get to the serum, which is uh, retails for $20. It's one ounce. So I'm going to put this on my right hand because I put the moisturizer in my left hand. I'll do the serum. And it's got a really nice gel liquid texture to it. That was a big pump, but one pump is enough to cover your whole face. So this can be a lot for my hand. But anyway, um, so it's really got a wonderful texture to it. So it retails for $20. This one does seem to mattify the skin a little bit more than the moisturizer does. So if that's your main goal is to mattify your skin, uh, the serum seems to do a little bit better job than the moisturizer does. And you can certainly use them both together. They really work well together, I found. So the serum uh, contains uh, some really nice ingredients. So we've got niacinamide. And then we've got several centella derivatives. Uh, Matacasic acid, which is an active compound from centella. Asiatic acid. Asiatic acid? Asiatic acid? I don't know. Tomato? Tom tomato? Anyway. Green tea is in there, propolis, tea tree extract. It's really nice. And you can see it's a little bit more, sets of a little bit more of a matte finish than the uh, other one. So, uh, okay. So the cons to this one, it has no scent, but it does contain Gardenia Florida extract, which is showing up in a lot of K-Beauty products. It can be beneficial for skin, but for some people that extract can be potentially irritating. It's not very common. Most people will be able to use it without any issues. But it is one of those ingredients where it's got some good things going for it and uh, some potentially bad. It's kind of like rosemary extract, which can be great for most people and some people. Very few it can be irritating. So um, The other thing to mention is it contains caprylic acid, which may, may be comedogenic for some people as well. Overall, this stuff is wonderful, and it really does soak up oil. So if that's your main goal this is probably going to be your hero product from the line. Okay, last but not least, we've got the cleanser, which cleansers I'm hard on. I will acknowledge that. I cannot think of any cleanser. There's got to be one that I've tried the first few times and liked it. I, there's got to be one, but I just... Maybe the Isntree LHA Cleansing Jelly Oil. But for the most part, every cleanser I've tried, I've disliked. Sometimes I end up liking them. Sometimes, most of the time, I don't. So, uh, okay, so this one retails for $15. It's a gentle cleanser. It's not terribly drying. Uh, it does a decent job removing makeup and sunscreen. However, the cons to this one, the eucalyptus oil they put in here really gives it a strong scent. And some people can be sensitive to it. You're going to rinse it off. So uh, the scent doesn't linger after it's rinsed off, but it is very noticeable. If you don't use a lot of products with fragrance in it, you open this up, you will notice it. You'll notice that scent immediately. Um, and it does leave skin feeling a little bit of that squeaky clean feeling, which I don't love, but it does do a good job removing makeup and sunscreen. So uh, you know what? My skin type is dry. So these products, they're not made, they're not geared towards me. However, they did come out at a good time because summer, my skin gets oily because uh, it's 95 degrees out and it's like 800% humidity out. So you know what? It gets greasy and oily. So if these came out and I tried them in the dead of winter, I'd probably not like them as much. So, uh, you know, that's, that's why every product is made for a different person. Climate matters, your skin type, everything like that plays into it. So what works for me might not work for you. It all depends on that. So that's always something to consider. So I didn't love this one, but some people will. Uh, anyway, so my least favorite from the collection is obviously the cleanser. And my favorite from the collection is the um, face mist. I absolutely adore it. And I love the purple packaging that they used. Kind of matches my nails, the nail color I'm going on this week, month, whatever. So these are all really affordable, cruelty-free, vegan, wonderful, well worth checking out, especially if you have oily or acne-prone skin. These are pretty darn friendly and really affordable. So 
Uh, anyway, interested in from you guys. We had a chance to check these out yet or not. And if you have what your thoughts are, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. And uh, stay tuned for more tomorrow. I love my peach slices. I love these. Perfect timing. Had these come out like a little bit earlier, a little bit later in the year. Probably not so much, but this is perfect timing for them. So anyway, thanks so much. Bye, guys.